In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Para 3D 2.8 to array a component onto a surface but also to adjust um, an inset value of that component which will be an edit poly um, so how to adjust that opening with a magnet controller. So let's start by creating a surface. I already created a NURB surface um, and now I'm going to make the component. So I'll start with a rectangle and if I right click and convert that to an edit mesh That'll delete the history of that uh, component. Now it's just a rectangular edit mesh. So we're going to use the vertices of this mesh to array it onto that surface. I'm also going to add an edit poly modifier, and this will be where I create my opening. Um, always when using an edit poly with Para 3D, you want to select uh, the polygons, but animate any edit geometries that you do to the component so that you can still use those within the um, Para 3D controller. So I'm going to select polygon. Make sure I have Animate selected. I'm going to use the Inset under Edit Polygons. And now I'll inset this amount. This amount will be controlled by the Magnet Controller, so it doesn't really matter what it is now. Go ahead and commit that. Add a Delete Mesh Modifier, and then another Edit Poly. So I'm going to rename this first Edit Poly um, Inset, and this will be the Edit Poly Animated Edit Poly that I control with the Magnet Controller. I'm going to make sure I have it selected. Delete Mesh, Edit Poly. Okay, so once you have your component, go ahead and use Para to create the array. I'm going to create an array, a two-dimensional array of 20 and 15. So this will have 20 in one direction and 15 in the other. Go ahead and say Create. And you do want to apply transformation of the vertices. These will be adjusted according to the surface controller. So say Yes. And the first thing we want to do is add, change the position of that arrayed object. So we're going to use the surface to control the position of the object. And this will move the gizmo onto the surface of each of the arrayed components. Pick your surface and then update the array. And we also want to control the sub-objects of uh, the vertices of the edit mesh. So let's select all of our vertices and add a surface controller to the vertices as well. and then we'll pick that surface and then we also want to add a sub-object controller to the vector controller so select sub-object controller and drag it to the vector controller say OK and update your array so now we have our component arrayed on the surface and we just need to control the opening so let's deselect our master points and go to our inset edit poly and now we can control the inset amount we can either just change the value um, or we can control this with another controller. So it looks like uh, about 1.75 would be a good minimum value, and then we could, uh, or maximum value, and we could decrease that to maybe 0.25. So let's start by adding a magnet controller. Drag the magnet controller to your controller. And we also need some object to control that magnet. So I'm going to go to the Create tab and select my helpers and create a point and then locate the point in the scene and this will be the magnet so I'm going to pick magnet and select that point it should say point zero zero one or whatever the object name is here and then we can update that array so you'll notice it's already creating some sort of effect on that geometry if I move this point um, and then update it'll it'll create a different sort of um, inset value for each of these components. So this is being controlled by the field settings and the magnet settings. Um, notice the field settings have a start and end value. This is the distance away from the magnet that will be affected by the inset. So if I increase this amount to 20 feet, for example, and update, you can see that the entire array is now within that field, so it's all being affected by um, these start and end values. If I go to 4 feet and then update the array. You can see only a four foot diameter of uh, distance away from the point is being affected by these magnet settings. So the magnet settings are the result that you'll get. So if I say, let's say 1.75 inches here and then 0.25 inches here and update, you can see that everything outside of four will be 0.25 or this eight and thirty seconds of an inch anything within that range is going to be a fall off between these two values so if I want to increase that fall off distance I can just increase my field setting in value so if I type in 8 you can see now it's gonna have a greater range of effect on that surface